What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, I guess we'll call it news for August 30th, 2024, you might have noticed we actually had like an additional patch come through, and that's because they <laughs> were actually fixing a lot of issues from this past week's patch that brought like the newbie growth plan, a couple different things, some things have been changed and upgraded because they were mistakes and we actually mentioned it, we're like, that doesn't sound right. So we're going to go over those here today. Beyond that, there's also some nice quality of life updates coming and some changes to uh, to the maps when we're talking about the ethereal realm. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's go over some of the changes. Talk about them right now. So first off, let's talk about some of these smaller changes because there are things you probably did not notice or anything or won't notice until you get to it. There was something in here that I made a comment of the other day. I was like, that cannot be correct. <laughs> and it was like, Awakening a Hero gave you five contract sorry gems. Yeah, remember it said five. Well, it does seem like that was a mistake. It was supposed to be a hundred uh, and that did get changed. I don't know if there was a second one in here at all. I've just been told that the starry gems in here have been changed and it might just be that one time your first ever uh soul awakening it does look like it is just kind of stupid uh but yeah so instead of now instead of getting a five percent return you essentially are getting a free soul awakening for the first time on your account which i guess woohoo that's kind of cool it's not too bad but a lot of the changes actually came to the ethereal realm as you guys know i literally only play this game mode whenever i'm forced to i still have not upgraded buildings i literally did it just to get the star whisper palace unlocked and now we're also doing it here today i'm going to show you guys some of our uh our attempts because we do have some quests to do. We have to finish the quest here. There's no super rush because we don't have all the star soul materials. But the fact that you do have to visit the star world, or what is it called again? The star whisper world, that is something that's very important. Now, there is something that has changed with this, and it has gotten a little bit easier with both a couple things here. Uh, so Aurora Sanctuary they have made the fog of war a little different it seems like so it's kind of like this like grayed out area so you can still see the terrain if you've been there but if you're not currently there you can see like the color difference and everything which i think is cool this is kind of weird like the fiery exploration i guess that means like we need to do it which is cool and all but if we come on over to the star world I can't remember if it actually does the same thing. So we do need to fight. And this is another one of the changes that is coming in here. Uh, so it sounds like there are a ton more of these purple battles across the battlefield. So you actually don't need to fight the blue ones as often anymore. Which is a really cool change because number one, that's a ton of additional resources. Uh, number two, it's just... I, I'd rather fight them and you can see here too the fog does change you can see like there was a purple portal here so if you want to revisit it later to fight it again you can but the fact that there's just more of them is going to be a really good change I do really like the change fog of war because I really hated the fact that like once you passed it it was just gone now you can still see what was there so you don't have to waste time navigating or setting pins because like there is a whole pin system i just absolutely hate the pin system like so so much i hate it uh we are still gonna have to use a lot of movement to get around to where we want to be but it like fully exploring the map now isn't the worst thing in the world it does seem like at least on our map there are not a ton of purple i have seen though and and i was told that there's supposed to be even more of the purple bosses uh, waves on the battlefield to make this easier to accomplish, but I guess that will be to be determined, to be seen later. I'm just going to go ahead and get my normal battles done because, of course, I, I kind of forgot about this for a day or two, so we are a little bit behind on the progression here. But I also like where you click is now telling you how many tiles you're actually moving which I think is really interesting. So you can really tell and make sure you're not wasting movement on your hero or your uh, your team. You can see here also, you can see exactly where you haven't explored. But like in my situation, it's like, well, yeah, I kind of I kind of forgot to look at this area. So I now need to look at this area. And especially if there's purple battles, just jumping to them immediately is kind of good. It also means scouting around 
with a secondary one is much better because we can actually just take this one zoom around look at the entire map and even if this is one that's not going to fight it's like okay i just found two more purples here and we can see what we've looked at so far which has basically been everything there's just like this little sliver that we haven't it's just so happened there was another purple portal right there you never know it can just be one tile away and it could be something you're missing on that one tile so it's really really cool so now what we can do is we can literally just jump around and fight the rest of these if possible here and there we go we got the boss to invade so that was the last one we need to do there now we already know where this is so uh oh no we got we ran out of action points so we're gonna we'll do that tomorrow then that's something we'll get done we can come over to here with our secondary team but man our teams are like really messed up right now we can see if we can get any victories honestly i don't know if we are going to be able to get victories on a ton of them either way to beat this out is still going to be a little bit of a delay for us it looks like our secondary squad does a good job with it and uh yeah tomorrow we'll be able to come back and finish it out but it's really be nice to be able to see all these red skulls on the map beyond that you're able to see where all the different uh farming nodes are as well which is really really good so there's what one two three four five six seven it looks like there's seven purples on this map from the looks of it I mean, we like missed like one little node over here, but I don't think that's gonna unlock everything. And now you can look at the entire map, which is a really, really cool feature. I like it. Like every little corner can be explored and you can tell where everything is now. That's like really, really awesome. And it's really nice that it tells you how many spaces you're trying to go before you actually do it. Uh, which again is a really nice quality of life feature which i'm cool with and the fact that it's not really changing much is like yeah okay it's not changing a ton but i think one of the biggest bonuses to this is the fact that you can see where all these like i guess we'll call them elite versions the purple portals which are really giving like a lot of progression that's just really really long really really good and i do like that so if I hear anything else from the community managers or the developers, I will pass that information along. Honestly, I feel like uh, we're probably, I mean, it's about to be the end of the month. Today is the 30th, 31st of tomorrow. Sunday, we should be getting previews for what to expect in September. I don't think September typically has any special events, but you have to remember, we are coming up on October, November, and December. We have Halloween black friday slash thanksgiving and we have christmas and the new year events this is going to be one of the best times typically to be playing the game uh and i don't really see any other notes or anything so hopefully you guys enjoy this one hopefully this ends up being a continuous change to the game buffing maybe ethereal realm because i personally think it's really boring and i hope it gets better we'll see you guys next time